So both the JBL Bar 300 and JBL Bar 500 are great sound bars from JBL that give you very big bang for your buck. But if you're trying to choose between getting the Bar 300 or the Bar 500, then today we're going to compare the main differences between these two sound systems and let's see which one's right for you. We're going to pricing, the Bar 300 has a retail price of $400 and the Bar 500 has a retail price of $600. And that alone can be a deciding factor for some people. But also at first glance, the main difference between the 300 and the 500 is that the 500 does come included with an external subwoofer. Now overall, I do expect both of these sound bars to go on sale on a regular basis. Nonetheless, if you want to pick either of these two sound bars up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, pick up a big head approved hat, link down below. We've got trucker hats and snapbacks. By buying a hat, you help the unbiased and unsponsored videos coming and it also helps us cover more products and produce more versus videos. Thank you to everyone who's already bought a hat and look out for more designs coming soon and also please remember to hit that like button and let's get subscribed now, one of the main differences between the 300 and the 500 is that the 300 is a self-contained system, whereas the 500 comes included with an external subwoofer. So the 500 is going to have a lot more bass than the 300. However, some people might just not want or have the space for an external subwoofer. So that's why they might be interested in a self-contained system like the 300. However, with both of these sound bars, you can't build out either of these two systems like you can with, let's say, Bose or Sony soundbars. So with the 500, you can't add any extra surround sound speakers. And with the 300, you can't add an external subwoofer. If you want a surround sound system from JBL, then you might want to look at the JBL Bar 700. Now, when it comes to ports and compatibility, both of these sound bars have an HDMI eARC port that goes connected to your TV, and they both come included with an HDMI cable, and they both have an optical port, just in case your TV doesn't have an HDMI ARC port, but in general, you do want to connect your sound bar to your TV using the HDMI connection. But more importantly, both of these sound bars have an HDMI in port with 4K, HDR10, and Dolby Vision support. So if you want, you can always plug in your Blu-ray player or your PlayStation directly into the soundbar itself. Both of these soundbars also have a USB-A port so that you can plug in a USB stick and play music off of it. And both of these soundbars also have an ethernet port. So if you want, you can always hardwire them into your network. And when it comes to wireless connectivity, both of these soundbars have AirPlay 2 support and Chromecast support. So as long as you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as these soundbars, you can always stream music to them. And they also have Bluetooth, so you don't have to use a Wi-Fi connection to stream music to these soundbars if you don't want to. Now, both of these soundbars also come included with a decent remote. But personally, I never use the remotes that come included with my soundbars, and instead, I just use their app. And thankfully, JBL now has a very sleek app for their soundbars. From here, you can easily adjust their EQ to your liking. You can do your audio calibration and you have access to your remote here as well, where you can adjust your Dolby Atmos settings. But with all of the basic stuff out of the way, let's talk about sound. Regarding speaker setups, the Bar 300 has a total of four speakers in it, all mounted in the center, and there's an exhaust port that shoots out the back. And there are two tweeters in this soundbar which shoot out the sides. But then there's the Bar 5. And now the Bar 500 also has four speakers in it that are mounted in the center of this soundbar, but this soundbar also has a total of three tweeters in it. One is in the center, sandwiched between the four main speakers, and the other two shoot out the sides. And like I mentioned earlier, the Bar 500 itself does not create any bass. All of the bass is handled by the external subwoofer. But now we're going to jump into the sound test. Both of these soundbars are playing at 75% volume with their stock EQ and we're also going to be using the built-in speakers found on the 2023 Sony Bravia X90 LTV and they're going to be playing at max volume.
So, like you may have just heard, obviously a soundbar is going to sound better than your TV's built-in speakers. Your TV most likely just has a pair of downward firing speakers that bounce sound off of the table if it isn't wall mounted. They don't get all that loud and their bass gets really distorted when the bass really gets going. Now, the speakers on the Sony X90L get decently loud and distortion isn't a big problem for them like with some more affordable TVs out there, but still, even with the Sony X90L, you're going to want to upgrade to a soundbar if you want to fully enjoy your movies. Now first, I do want to address max volume performance on these systems. The Bar 300 is going to be best suited for a small or medium sized living room or bedroom and is going to be best for small viewing parties, whereas the Bar 500 is going to be able to fill a larger living room with sound and it's also going to be a good sound system if you want to entertain guests with. So plainly said, yes, the Bar 500 gets way louder than the Bar 300. It's not even close. And if you may have noticed in the sound test, both of these sound bars were playing at 75% volume and the 300 just couldn't keep up. Now, when it comes to the overall sound quality of both of these soundbars, both of these soundbars have a very strong center channel to them because they both have their four main speakers mounted in the center of the soundbars. But with the 500, its center channel is a little more defined and it's easier to understand dialogue with the soundbar because the soundbar also has an additional tweeter right in the center shooting directly at you. But also, the Bar 500 does sound more open than the Bar 300 because it has better left and right channel separation than the Bar 300. Because with the Bar 500, the tweeters that shoot out the sides are just able to get louder than the side tweeters found on the 300. And finally, there's the bass on these systems. Now with the Bar 300, like I mentioned earlier, this is a self-contained system. So it creates its own bass and it has an exhaust port that shoots out the back. But the thing with the Bar 300 is that the bass is mostly on the audible side. As in, you can hear the bass, but you're not necessarily going to be able to feel what's happening on the screen. Whereas with the 500, it has its external subwoofer. So the bass coming out of the system is going to rattle the walls in your 
house and you're going to be able to physically feel what's happening on the screen giving you a much more immersive experience overall the base on the 300 just doesn't compare to the base found on the 500 and overall having an external subwoofer in your sound system is just going to give you a much more immersive and theater like experience but like i mentioned earlier depending on your needs or setup you might just not have the space for an external subwoofer so with all that being said, both of JBL soundbars are good options because they look sleek, they have a sleek app, they're both easy to use, and they both have that HDMI import so that you can plug in your Blu-ray player or your PlayStation. However, the JBL Bar 300 is best suited for a small or medium-sized living room or bedroom, and this soundbar is best suited if you just want something so that you can more easily focus on the dialogue, and the 300 is best suited for or smaller viewing parties. But the JBL Bar 500 is a whole other beast. First off, this system has a lot more bass than the 300 simply because it comes included with an external subwoofer. Just make sure that you have a room to place this external subwoofer. But also, this soundbar gets way louder than the 300 and it has that additional frontward firing tweeter and the 500 just has better left and right channel separation than the 300 because the side tweeters are just able to get louder than the side tweeters found on under 300. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular, so I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.